hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm showing another fall scene card which was really easy and simple to make so i will just go through it uh, as you can see here i have a use the basic rectangles from mama elephant to cut out this rectangle piece of some Stratmore bristle smooth cardstock because i am going to do some no line coloring with my zig clean color real brush markers so therefore i am using the fade out ink from ink on 3 and i'm stamping out my images So I am first going to color in these images um, and I will link my colors below. Um, also for this card, uh, as you could see in the preview, I am using some leaves. So these uh, stamps are from the leaf play from Hello Bluebird and the leaves are from the oak tree scene die. Um, but for those who haven't watched my previous video, I really suggest it because I am not showing how I made these leaves because they were still lying around from my previous card. So I suggest you go check that out. Um, I will link to that video as well so that it is easier to, to go and look at it. Um, so as you can see here, I am adding my colors onto the edges and then I am using my blender to fade out the color. Normally I am using a paintbrush, uh, but uh, that was actually because my blender was, yeah, my blender just ran out. Uh, so I bought new ones. Uh, I will also be, be using a paintbrush in the future, no worries. Uh, but just to let you see, a blender is easy to use as well. So uh, I will put on some music for the last details of this coloring and I will be back afterwards. So after the coloring I decided to add a little bit of a background, uh, so therefore I needed to make some masks and I am stamping out uh, my images onto some full stick post-it notes using just some regular black ink that was lying around, uh, nothing fancy and then I cut it out using my scissors um, and I am going to adhere it on top of my images so that I can blend a bit on the background. I also decided to add some purple tape so that I could keep my edges white with the stitched detail. 
um, and I'm also grounding the images with some purple tape. So because I did some no line coloring and this way the images are really light, I decided to use a really light distress ink being crushed olives and I blended really softly in the beginning and then I went a bit harder on the bottom of this piece. And then it is time to peel off all the moths and I really like this part. So um, I am keeping my masks for another card. Uh, it's always handy and then I don't need to fussy cut anything out. Um, so I'm just keeping it on the back of my stamp set. And then I decided to stamp out my sentiment. So um, I'm using the sentiment which is in the leaf play. Uh, and it says, friends are a special blessing, which they truly are. Um, and here I am checking whether it is lined up straight, because I think it's really hard with those longer sentiments to get it totally straight. And um, I fiddled a bit with it. And in the end, it actually wasn't that straight as I wanted it, but I will survive. It's still a cute card, and I am really excited about giving it to someone special. So I'm using Wild Honey Distress Oxide ink. I really love this color. It's it's soft and happy and relaxing at the same time and just a really lovely color and it fits with my my card. So here are the leaves where I was talking about. So it's from the Oak Tree Scene Dye. Um, if you want to check out how I made them, I suggest you look at my previous video um, and it will become clear immediately. Uh, it's really easy uh, to do like the uh, changes in the colors and stuff like that. Um, so I will link it again uh, so that you can easily go there. Uh, so here I'm using some Gina K Design Connect glue to glue my leaves uh, on top of this panel. I'm not going to use any foams because I just want to keep it simple, as flat as possible. And then I need to prep my card base, making an American size card base. So I'm using this adhesive roller from Paradise, um, and then I am tearing my panel on top. And that finishes off my card. I really hope that you like this card design. I did some no line coloring, which is one of my favorite techniques. Um, I hope to be back soon. Have a lovely day and see you. Bye!